<laughs> New England. It's the same story every day, it seems like. But you know, we've got some really nice weather heading away. We just need to get through the downpours today, the fog, the low clouds. Take a look at this live look. You can see not much of the top of the buildings in Boston, but they are there. We just have a lot of clouds to deal with. At least we don't have the really damp conditions that we had just yet <laughs> that we had this morning. But the rain, it is on the way. In fact, scattered downpours, perhaps even a few rumbles of thunder with some gusty winds will be possible as we go through the afternoon until about 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Good news is, I mentioned, it turns brighter but stays a bit breezy for the middle part of the week. And we do bring back rain chances late Friday. But it looks as though we could dry out in time to have a nice, dry, but cool weekend. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Speaking of the clouds, look at the visibility. Still a struggle out there, a like quarter mile in Worcester. We've got some lower visibility over parts of the Cape, too. So that will be a tricky travel if you're going to be headed, especially north and west of the city, where we've got those downpours. Darker shades of green, yellow, orange, really indicating that heavier rain threat. So all of these showers will continue to push on in. Temperatures still in the 40s and 50s out there and you can see it's a wide swath of rain that is moving eastward so this is why we're going to be dealing with the wet weather as we go through the afternoon and evening hours another look at the hour by hour forecast with temperatures here too we're expecting a bit of a warm up, but it comes late in the day with those gusty southerly winds. Temperatures close to 60 this afternoon along the South Shore, still in the 40s and 50s to the north and west. And it won't be until the evening commute temperatures get close to that 60 degree mark in Boston. But it's going to be a wet commute with ponding on the roadways, low visibility out there. And if you're trying to make it to the polls before they close at 8 o'clock, it still will likely be raining in spots across eastern areas and especially down on the Cape where we could see some wind gusts upwards of 30 to even 40 miles per hour. Now after 8 o'clock, noticing most of the rain begins to push off the coast and we dry out overnight, but with winds out of the southwest, we stay mild. So I'm expecting temperatures back into the 40s northwest, 50s across the southeast when you wake up tomorrow. And that wind will still be active out of the south tomorrow, meaning We've got another mild day, even with the sunshine. So either side of 60 we'll go with. And I, hopefully you can get out and enjoy it because unfortunately, we've got a downward trend as we go towards the weekend. And of course, we're watching late Friday into Saturday, our next system approaching. With cold air in place late Friday, we could be dealing with a little bit of a mixed precipitation across the higher terrain of parts of inland areas of the northeast as the system moves on in. But I expect mostly rain for southern New England Friday into Saturday. The good news is it moves on out of here, so it looks to be a mainly dry weekend, but a much cooler weekend, too. Highs only topping out in the 40s. We'll watch for another risk of some rain, perhaps mixing with a little bit of snow, too, across the inland areas as we head into Monday.